Hey there, I'm Brian Best. This is a quick tutorial on everything you need to know about how HTML works. You may hear that HTML is a programming language of websites, but more accurately, it's described as a markup language. What's the difference? Well, a markup language is largely static and is meant to be interpreted by a more complex application. Your browser, for instance. It defines the structure of a web page. It tells your browser which parts of a web page is text and which parts are images. In short, HTML is the blueprint of your content. Let's start writing some code. You can use almost any text writer to write HTML if you wanted to. You can even use Google Docs. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a standard text editor that comes on my Mac. Now if you're on Windows, you can use Notepad as well. The instructions should be largely the same. For this tutorial, we're going to start this file with an HTML tag. Now the anatomy of how HTML works is these tags. Most tags in HTML start with an opening and a closing. So see here, we've got an opening HTML tag with simply the letters HTML encased by these brackets. And at the end, we have the same thing, only the tag starts with a forward slash. This tag is the closing bracket. It's between these two tags that we're gonna put the content for this website. The head tag and the body tag Placed one after another like this is the basic starting template of any website. Side note, it's best practice to ensure your code is properly indented like this so that when this file becomes a finished website, it's easier to debug. Now, let's look at the body tag. Body is where your browser is going to look to render your code so it's visible to the user. Some simple tags you could put in here are things like h1. h1 stands for heading 1. There's actually h1 through to h6 and the difference is the size the browser naturally renders them out as. H1 is the biggest. Putting my H1 here with my title Hello World between the opening and closing brackets, you may start to notice that the pattern of where we're nesting tags and where content appears are kind of the same. For the most part, this is true. The content of this H1 is the text Hello World. Now let's save this out. I'm gonna make a new folder here called Hello. And this is the most important part. I'm going to save this page as hello world.html. Make sure to add that .html at the end. Next, if we open this up in our browser, we can see our text there. Going back to our text editor, we can now go ahead and add other content tags like the p tag or paragraph tag. Another header, this time an H2. Now when we save the document again and refresh our browser, all our new content is there. Let's pause for a bit on the body tag and talk about the head tag. Head is mostly where you'll put content that's invisible to your users, but visible to browser programs, Facebook, Google, and other programs and services that read your content's metadata. As an example, let's put the title tag between the head tags. Let's set the content to something like my first site. Now save and refresh. If we look now at the tab here in Chrome, we can see that it says my first site. The last part I want to teach you about is HTML attributes and self-closing tags. To place an image in your HTML, you use the image tag. The image tag is not like heading tags or paragraph tags. The image tag is what's called a self-closing tag because you describe the content of the tag through attributes. An attribute looks like this. In only the opening tag, we've added src equals open quotes pick.jpg, close quotes. Then, to make this a legit self-closing tag, we put a slash at the end. src is the source file attribute that is required to make image tags work. What it's looking for is a file path. I won't go into too much detail here about what file paths are, as they could be their own video, but for the time being, know that this image tag here, with this attribute, is looking for a JPEG image named pick in the folder we created for this HTML file. So I'm gonna grab a screenshot real quick and move this file into our folder and rename it as well.
Now save and refresh. And there you have it, the basics of how HTML works. If you're interested in learning more about programming for the web, hit that subscribe button. I'll have new content for beginners coming out weekly. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, why not give it a thumbs up? And as always, thank you for watching.